Maria and in today's video we're going to decorate for the 4th of July in my entryway. I'm also going to decorate my shelves in my dining room and my little accent table. I hope that you are interested in this kind of content. I have one more video after this that I'm going to share of me decorating my kitchen and then if you missed my last video it was me decorating my living room and my tear tray. So. We're gonna do the entryway. I'm working on a time crunch here. I'm doing what I like to call lunch break decorating because I'm working from home today and I'm doing this all on my lunch break, so I gotta go quick. So I'm decorating my entryway. As you can see, you can see a little sneak peek of what I've got already, already done. And then we're gonna move on to my shelves, just adding a little bit of pops of red, white, and blue here and there, nothing too overboard. This is probably as overboard as it's gonna get right here, but I hope that you liked today's video. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and let's get into the decorating. Starting with my entryway, I don't have a lot that I wanna switch out, but I do wanna make it a little bit more festive. And I'm going to use this glass vase that I've had for several years now from World Market. I don't know if they still carry that, but if they do, I will link it below. I had just recently washed it and from when I had stuff in there from the holidays. I'm just going to add a couple of American flags. Like I said in my last video, adding flags here and there is like one of the easiest ways to decorate for the 4th of July. You could honestly just add flags and then you'd pretty much be done. And then I added this little tray, this star tray that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, a year or so ago. I haven't bought anything new for this space. So everything that I'm using, I've already had. And I'm gonna try out some different plants just to see how I like it. I wasn't 100% pleased with how my plant situation came out. I want something that's a little bit smaller than this, but also has some height. So I'm kind of looking for that special perfect thing, but I'm not about to go out and try to find it. It's not that serious. I'm gonna add a little candle in here to just add some dimension to the space, different heights and play around with it from there. And then we're gonna move on to some other spaces. <music> Moving to the bottom of my console table i wanted to add this pillow that i've had from pottery barns it is still available so i will link that if you're interested it is technically an outdoor pillow which when i purchased it i did not realize that it was outdoor i thought i was just getting the cover so i actually don't like to use this on my couches because it's so full because it's an outdoor pillow and i can't just switch out the insert but it's going to play a little bit of tetris here get things moving around and seeing how i end up liking it <music> to my entryway to make it really pop and say 4th of July is this banner that I've, again, is from Pottery Barn. It's actually a longer banner that I cut a few pieces off of a few years ago when I used this in my other entryway, my last house. I just like the look of it coming across the mirror. It just adds that extra special pop, but you can still use the mirror so it doesn't take up too much of the space, but I really like adding it. I just think it's that one special something. Moving over to my bookshelf, it is really just a matter of, again, just moving a few things, taking some things, adding some things, just so that you can get a little glimpse of that red, white, and blue. Again, when it comes to decorating for the 4th of July and, you know, seeing that I'm singing, I'm proud to be American, because um, <laughs> that's what that sign says. So I kind of just went into a little singing tangent. I don't know all the words, but um, it's just about adding a few things just to make it festive. It doesn't take a lot. 
and I'm just trying to keep everything a little bit even, not have anything too cluttered. And so just here I am just decorating my shelves. While you're watching this, I just want to say thank you so much for spending time with me today. It means the world to me. You have no idea. I really do enjoy decorating my home and I'm not always in like a desire or a mood to decorate, but I always want to provide inspiration and ideas if you are decorating seasonally. So I thank you for being here and watching. If you're not already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my little friend group here. We have so much fun in the comments. But I hope that you're enjoying this and I just want to say thank you so much. just pulled a piece of tape off of the side of the of the <laughs> bookcase and I have no idea where it came from um, but this is how my bookcase turned out I think I like it I hope that you do as well and then now we're gonna move on to my little accent table I do want to say if there's ever anything that you're looking for that I'm sharing in my video that I may not call out directly in the description box always check out my LTK I have everything linked in my LTK it's very easy to navigate and you don't have to be a member of the app if you don't want to be. You can always just check it out without signing up for it. But when you do sign up for it, you do get little savings alerts and things like that when items that I share go on sale. So I think it's really great to have the app. But here I am, I'm just moving on to this section. And again, adding a couple of flags makes the biggest difference. got this Target candle, I think it was last year. I think I liked it because it had the blue and white stars. But, and I think it smelled good okay last year, but this does not smell good now <laughs> at all. So I'm definitely throwing this away. Um, but the only other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this lantern that I picked up from Kirkland's that I showed with you in my last video. And then I have this ribbon that I got a few years ago from Etsy. I know that you can easily create this type of bow with ribbon. Y'all, I'm not crafty. I am definitely B-U-Y, not D-I-Y. Anytime I try to D-I-Y, it doesn't come out great. So that's just not my ministry. But I'm just gonna add this candle that I've already got. Again, I got it from Kirkland's recently. And then I'm gonna add this bow. And then that's gonna really much tie everything together. And so I will love if you let me know what you think. Um, I'm just going to fluff out this bow. It's just going to take a few minutes to do that because it's been packed away for so long. But let me know what you think overall. Again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. And I, again, appreciate you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or week or weekend whenever you're taking the time to watch this. Bye, guys.